Hi there, I'm Jo, the curate at St Giles in Desborough. Um, there have been many times over the years that people have shared something with me um, that they're struggling with and I've offered to pray for them and they've said things like, oh, there's far bigger problems in the world, um, God won't want to deal with this or um, it's not worth bothering God about or just something along those lines of... Um, this isn't big enough to take to God and he's got bigger things to deal with. And while it is good to acknowledge that there are always going to be people who are worse off than us, um, I wonder where that feeling comes from that this isn't big enough to trouble God with. And um, it just made me think of this passage from Matthew, Matthew chapter 7 where Jesus says in the Sermon on the Mount, keep on asking and you will receive what you ask for. Keep on seeking and you will find. Keep on knocking and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, everyone who seeks finds, and to everyone who knocks the door will be opened. You parents, if your child asks for a loaf of bread, do you give them a stone instead? Or if they ask for a fish, do you give them a snake? Of course not. So if you sinful people know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your heavenly Father give good gifts to those who ask him? And Jesus invites us into this relationship that he has with, with God, this relationship of a child to a parent, to recognize God as our heavenly father and I often I remember one time when one of our children was going through some really difficult times and it did take a lot of our energy and our care to um, help this particular child through this difficult time and yet I'm a parent of four children and even in those times when that one child was needing a lot more of our attention it didn't mean that I didn't care about the other three also who weren't going through such big things but they still had things that they had to deal with and that worried them or upset them and there was one time when one of my other children I found out that they'd been dealing with something that had been upsetting them and they hadn't told me and I said, oh, why, why didn't you tell me about this? And the reply was, well, because of this other child, I thought you had too much to worry about already. And that made me really sad because just because one of my children is going through something big and difficult doesn't mean that I care any less about what the others are going through. And... I still want them to come to me and to share with me what's going on in their life. And it's like that with God, that yes, there will be people going through really big stuff, but God is still our parent and he still cares deeply for each one of us and he wants us to come to him and to share with him what we're dealing with and what we're coping with and what we're worried about and whatever it might be we are invited into this relationship of child and parent god is our parent and he wants to know and he wants to hear from us and he doesn't just want us to wait until we think this is a big enough thing to bother him with he wants to know everything and be involved in every aspect of our lives. So I just encourage you to do just what Jesus says. Ask, seek, knock and trust that God, who is our perfect heavenly father, will give us good things when we ask and when we seek and when we knock. So don't forget that God is your parent and he wants to be involved in every aspect of your life. Amen.